your KETK Sports Zone, brought to you by Peters Auto Sports Tyler. The time of year I like to call February fever continues as we get set as we start to get deeper into the high school basketball playoffs. A number of East Texas teams remain alive on both the boys and girls sides this evening. The boys wrapped up round two of postseason play and the ladies are now set for the region semis. Let's start in Longview where the Arp Tigers faced a monster challenge against 13th ranked Atlanta and one of the best players in the country in Damian Collins. But hey, from the get go, the Tigers not afraid to take it right at the McDonald's all American Elijah Malden lays it in on the feet from Jonathan Blackwell a little later Blackwell he's gonna penetrate here and then kick it out to Kadalian Williams even with a hand in his face he makes it rain from downtown then Zach Malden he's gonna strip Alex Boston Williams picks up the loose ball gets it ahead to Blackwell who beats everybody down court he lays it in for two of his 12 points are up 16 to 12 after one but the rabbits would wake up Boston tosses it up right here he's gonna toss it up to Collins and look at that for the the alley-oop slam and a little by little the Kentucky signee would begin to take over the game grabs the rebound here and takes it himself all the way to the hole right through traffic with the Eurostep and the finger roll for the finish 24 points 15 boards 15 block shots for another triple double for Collins as Atlanta comes away with a victory 56 to 53 Arp with a valiant effort ends its season at 17 at and 7 now Atlanta will play the winner of this next game just up the road at Spring Hill. Mineola taking on a tough Jefferson squad. Late first quarter, Josh Thomas gets it to Christian Shepard, and he's going to let it fly from about 26 feet with time running out and buries it to beat the buzzer. Dogs led by four after one, and the Jefferson faithful, look at them, fired up. But the Jackets respond. Jonah Fisher through traffic, takes it strong to the basket, and is able to finish off the glass. The Mineola student section getting into it. Andrew Stinchfield to Dawson Pendergrass. He goes straight down Main Street and finishes with the finger T.J. Moreland would come alive a little later and lead the way with 23 points as the Jackets turn things around in the second half and go on to win it 66 to 49. Mineola will play Atlanta in the regional quarterfinal. Now, Class 5A action, Longview sees its season come to an end as they couldn't quite knock off number 11 Highland Park. 57-52 was the final out in Athens. The Lobos wrap up their campaign at 15 and 12. Meanwhile, in 4A, the Lindell Eagles keep on trucking. They defeat Brownsboro 56 to 44. They'll get ready to play 17th ranked Paris in the Region 2 quarterfinals. Some other 4A scores. Chapel Hill comes up short against Kaufman 47 to 38. Bulldogs see their season end at 18 and 6. However, Ever. Kilgore takes down District 14 4A champ Canton 47 to 42. The K Dogs advance to play Kaufman in the Region 2 quarterfinals. That'll be at 3 p.m. Saturday in Athens.